So today's review is Aqua de Parma Colonia Essence. It's an eau de cologne. Um, I don't know the notes on this. This is I didn't I didn't look them up. I don't tend to really like to go over notes much. Um, I want to describe more the vibe of this. This is like '80s nightclub. Put in the vein of like um, a time that you would smell Dracar Noir or something, you know, an old spice or something. This kind of targets that crowd. I am on my final wearing of it. This was loaned to me by a friend of mine. Thank you, Matthew. <coughs> and uh, I'm going to give my opinion on it. So, this is an eau de cologne, right? So generally when you see Colonia, <coughs> that's meant to signify like a light, like an airiness. Um, a lot of people will see something that's like an eau de cologne or a Colonia and sort of think it's supposed to be an eau de cologne. Colonia really is just a name. It's not a concentration. Um... Now, when I'm saying light airiness, and then I describe Dracar Noir or Old Spice or something in that sense, you're going to wonder, well, Dracar Noir is not really a, uh, a light scent. This doesn't hit you as hard. This hits you. The, 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 the longevity I'm getting out of this, by the way, is probably somewhere in the ballpark of four to five hours. Um... This doesn't hit you as hard. It's not as cloying or in your face. So in the air, it comes across kind of light-ish, I want to say. Not necessarily a light scent, but there's some airiness to this. Um, so imagine like a lighter, diluted Dracar Noir in essence. Um... Or this is the uh, Aqua de Parma Colonia Ascenza. Sorry. I realized I forgot to say Ascenza. Eau de Cologne. Um, I'm probably getting somewhere in the ballpark of about three feet, four feet of projection. I have to come kind of close to people for this. Um, I've noticed, like, it does leave a bit of a trail. I'll leave the room and come back in, and it kind of kicks it back up again a little bit. Um huge for the price point I want to say a little bit of a disappointment now I'm not a huge fan of the fragrance because that's so that's okay for me um, I don't particularly like it very much I, I I'm just not into older style fragrances it's just not who I am you know what I mean um, I like a lot of the newer more playful stuff and I do like strong stuff. I I mean, Mancera Red Tobacco, for instance. Huge fan of that, dude. Um, so if you're if you're into the older style fragrances, and if you're not, I wouldn't get this. But if you are, get it, man. Get it. it it'll be if the '80s nightclub is something that you want to smell like. Get it. Check it out. As far as me. I'm not really a huge fan. I mean, I kind of get some leather, some oak moss, or something in here. There's a little, something a little bit spicy. I think there's a leather note in here. I can pick up on that. That or some kind of smokiness or something. But just not a huge fan of it, man. I appreciate you loaning it to me, Matt, to try it out. Uh, just like you did with the Tom Ford Ombre Leather. That one I loved. But this one is just kind of not my thing. And for those of you that are easily offended... Exit the video now. Give you a few seconds. Alright. I'm going to turn my channel. Obviously, I do a lot of stuff with it. But today, we're also, or, you know, I'm going to show you what my EDC is for the day. What my everyday carry firearm is for the day. For those of you that are interested in this. It is the Smith & Wesson SD40VE chambered in 9mm. That would be my EDC for the day. Go ahead and place this down because I'm getting ready to leave. And you have a good day.
Later.